Good evening, everyone. This is Spook, and we are back with uh, Link to the Past. And I think I, re I remember I was standing around here, and I realized that doing the the ice dungeon requires me going to the the one in the Lost Woods first. Um, when it comes to key items, I'm basically set. Um, it's just I need the fire rod for that one dungeon. So. What I'm going to do is not that right now. I, oh, I'm still lacking a hook shot, and I can get that in Dungeon 2. Um, a lot of that is remind... You know, I, I don't sort dungeons by their actual level or their difficulty, but rather by how much they irritate me. <laughs> and um, I don't remember how high Dungeon 2 was on the list. Six, is that, six and four... Or six, the... Uh, the Ice Dungeon and uh, Blinds Dungeon. I have said Dungeon a lot in the last few minutes. Uh, for that, I apologize. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, those are the ones that the... The Ice Palace and uh, Blinds Dungeon are the ones that uh, kind of bother me the most. I think Turtle Rock is kind of a pain, too. Um, more so in Link Between Worlds. Yeah, how you like them apples. Oh, I'm full up on fairies, at least. Now, I'm assuming there's a Dark World portal around here that I'll be able to utilize, and, uh... Go grab the last medallion. I mean, I honestly don't remember if there is or not. I'm just going to assume that there is. Oh, <laughs> let's uh, let's not do the dumb thing. Yeah. Maybe there isn't a thingy down here, or up here. Okay, nothing down here could actually be a portal. Because uh, the... Portals are always hidden behind something that uh, that you only acquire in the Dark World. Um, so it's, well, with the exception of the palace, but that doesn't happen until after you uh, put the smack down on the Mr. Evil Wizard guy. Hmm, that dude's durable. You know what, I guess I'm just going to re-enter by the palace, and, uh... Hmm. Oh, there's one over in the forest here, too, if I remember correctly. I mean, that that is a big asterisk on anything. Me remembering correctly. Oh, good. Alright, let's mosey into the forest, because I know that there's one... At least near there. Actually, no, it's right down by the village. Yeah, well, okay. I, uh, I did not come into this with a plan. I just said, well, it's about six, I'm gonna play some Zelda. <laughs> so that's, that's about it. And I think after this, I'm gonna try to see about doing... 
Well, I guess I could do technically do Breath of the Wild. Um, but there's no reason I couldn't do um, Link's Awakening or um, Link Between Worlds, which I think would be a nice follow-up to this, since it's the same world almost. Yeah, here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, well, back into the dark world. Pardon my cough. Jeez, that was a loud one. Of course, this is the, where I need to be for the uh, thingy that I'm supposed to be doing. Oh wait, I can gra gra I can grab the thingy behind the uh behind the sanctuary. Or the, the cemetery in the sanctuary. This, this little thing here. I don't remember what it is, but... My violent kleptomania compels me. Oh, well, hey. I guess I could go hunting for pieces of heart, but... Eh. Oh, are you serious with this? Okay, let's, uh, let's check out this one grave here. Because I think this has, the, has either that staff or cane. Or maybe it's a cloak, I don't know. Either way, there's a magical jigger down here, so... Cloak. Okay. Or magic cape. That has some utility, at least. I guess this is one way to cross the river. <laughs> so we just stuffed five rupees up there, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Um... Yeah, I don't need any of that.
Oh, interesting. I thought there was a fairy pond here for some reason. Maybe I was just hallucinating. You know, these things happen. My dad kind of keeps an eye out for bad, weird, and sometimes just bizarre and transgressive type movies. So I, uh, I sent him a link to uh, Tetsuo the Iron Man on uh, Prime. <laughs> and uh, I sure got some messages back about that one. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, this is insane. <laughs> well, yeah, well. Okay, so, I do remember enough to re recall that, uh, the problem with that boss in the Dark World is going to be making sure I have enough fire magic, or at least, at least so that I can uh, actually fight him. Punk. I don't know why I keep adding sound effects to a game that already has them. Oh... Uh, What's in here? Oh wait, this is the bomb, mer bomb merchant, isn't it? Yeah. He's no use to me yet. Oh! Is this gonna be another fairy pond? Yeah. Nothing wrong with the occasional fairy pond. Just don't accept their gifts. So, I'll get to a certain point tonight, and then uh, I should be able to wrap everything up tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> this is basically going to be, at the minimum, I'm going to do the forest uh, today. And then it's, I've got ice and the other one. Uh, well, yeah, then we have turtle rock and... Um, the water one. I don't remember these things all having proper names. Okay, so this is technically a dungeon. And I need to find a... First the big key, then the chest... And then I need to go find the skeletal remains. I think all of the holes in the ground lead to different rooms in the dungeon. So that can be a complete pain. Ow! Owie!
No? Ow. I should not have done that. Okay, so that big room has the uh, chest in it. So that's good to know. Now it's a question of finding the big key. Ugh, this room. Where's Dungeon 3? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I get the hook shot here. Oh, you suck. Was, uh, I was sketching out game ideas in my notebook and I had this one where it's like, you know, what if what if you had a run and gun type game, kind of like Contra um, but instead of somebody who is legally distinct from Rambo <laughs> you instead had uh, a wizard of some kind and you gave him elemental powers and all this you know, all this nonsense and uh, it was looking re like a really good idea on paper. And then I uh, you know, I started thinking about how we would implement it and everything. And then I found there was a game for the Neo Geo. It was actually the pack-in, at least in the U.S., called Magician Lord. And it is exactly, well, not exactly, but very close to what I was thinking of. I'm like, well, I mean, I like my idea better. So there's there's that. But it's funny, uh, I just feel like I can never have a truly original idea. It's like all, all my stuff is what effects, but like a roguelike. <laughs> or, uh... Ow! Or what effects, and somebody already did it, you know, 30 years before. <laughs> yeah! No! Ow, my spleen! Ow. F this room. Take that. Oh, that panned out. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's go see what's it down another hole, because that sure wasn't what I was hoping to find. And what's in here? Oh, boy, there certainly are some things in here. Let's just do this. Wow. Uh, seizure warning. My apologies to... Anyone with uh, photosensitivity? Oh, clever girl. I know another one's coming. There we go. <laughs> I 
That's why Ether's my favorite. Because you freeze things and turn them into uh, mana. And what do we have here? Excellent. Now, where am I in, in relation to the big chest? Uh, just a couple rooms away. I basically just need to exit the way I came in, though. Let's have a peek in here. Well, well that was a nice find. If I wasn't already full up. Oh, is this something useful? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not leaving a key behind like a dummy. Speaking of keys... Okay, let's go grab the big, uh, the big chest. And then I can set things on fire. Well, now I gotta know what's down here. Oh, it's this room. Not helpful. Oh, well, wait, with the star thing triggered, can I go across now? Hey. Wow, I, I can't whistle. <clears throat> I mean, apparently I can't. I thought I could. Ouch. Oh, son of a gun. Well, how do I square that circle? Those guys in every room? Because, uh, they can just stop. Well, there's a key. Oops. You know what? I think I know what I gotta do. I just need to go up and uh, to the right and land in that room from above, and then I'll have control of how the star tiles are set up. And that'll let me into the room behind the box, which, if I remember correctly, I can make explode. Yeah, see, there's a... Yep. I admit, that was completely out of spite. So this room... Yep. Big bada boom. Watch my magic meter, they say.
Ooh. No, give it to Red Skull. There I am dating myself again with a reference to a Flash cartoon from 20 years ago. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, I just think I need to go into this next thingy here. And down, maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, a little fire, Scarecrow. Well, this is going better than I remember. Um, it's just one of those levels I always remember really disliking. For fairly obvious... Oh, God. And then they pull this. Is this a key? Good. Keys are good. Depending on the emulator you use, you can turn off layers uh, in the game. And there are definitely times where that is broken but super useful. <laughs> and nonsense like hiding mazes behind you. Oh, it's this room. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to play around here. I'm just going to kill everything. Really? just did that to make sure that there wasn't a, uh, a key or something useful under that pot, because, man... Oh! F this room. Do some fire. There we go. I think that's just going to kill the Moldorms, but it'll turn this guy into uh, something I can hammer. Oh, hello. Nice, got a little refill. Do a little... Oh, a key. Cool, I think I might actually have an extra key. Too bad that doesn't work in this game. You can't carry the keys between dungeons like you could in uh, Zelda 1. And there's the boss room. All right.
Yay! F that guy. He sucks and he knows it. Okay, I consider that a pretty successful start for the day. Or the evening. I mean, it's 7 at night, so maybe that's not a start per se, but hey, it's time to fast forward. Nope, don't care. I heard of this before, lady. Get back in your box. I understand, but I don't care. 